One double chocolate milkshake. And Craig, your mum's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, mate, because guess what? I'm going to cook you a really nice tea tonight. <laughs> One cent, five cents, nine cents, four dollars. Here you go, mate. 50, 40, 20, 10, nothing. Hey, <laughs> is your sister dead? Whoops! I wasn't meant to say anything until tonight. Oh, God! <laughs> Shelley, don't upset yourself, mate. You're getting married at lunchtime, remember? Shelley, it's gonna be okay. Oh, I love you, mate. Oh. <laughs> well, these figures just don't add up. We made a million dollars yesterday. Now there's only one cent in the till. One plus. One equals... Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> Shelly, don't! Look, we can fix this chip stand once and for all. Come on, guys. Let's have a fundraiser. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, here's trouble. I've just been down the hospital, Craig. Apparently you're sick. Real sick. We'll see about that, won't we, Craig? <laughs> Craig Donovan. Lettuce leaf and one baked bean for you, Sky. Trace, I know it's not my place, but I don't think you should go out with Craig tonight. He's really good looking and he's got heaps of dough. I know, but he's a real bastard. Well, don't say we did warn you, okay? Yes, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> seen Craig Donovan. He's due down at Ramsey Street Clinic for brain surgery next week. <laughs> Come on, mate, let's go. She's just jealous. Let's see if we can find him. OK. <laughs> God, it's Shelley. She's had a terrible accident. What's the matter, Shelley? Is it a coma? No, I've broken a fingernail. 
It'll have to come off. <laughs> Look, no, Dr. Elliot. We've had this up to here. Now, I reckon we should all get together and sign a petition and save this fingernail once and for all. Yeah, take it to the council. <laughs> Can you give me a hand? <laughs> Gee, Craig's really moody. He's dying, mate. Uh, it's more than that. <laughs> G'day, Danny. Don't pretend you don't know me, Bob Hatfield. I'm having your baby. <laughs> we all are. Well, I think I'll make myself a cup of tea then. G'day, young fella. Twenty, five, twenty, twenty, fifty, twenty, ten, ten, nothing. Craig, I've got the test results back. I'm afraid it's worse than we first thought. I'm going to have to examine your stool. <laughs> Son, I've just got the tests back and I'm afraid... I'm afraid it's not good news. <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> I've just heard the news. How's he taking it? It's very hard for me to tell you this. I was a boy too, once, you know. <laughs> well, what are you staring at? Have you ever seen a kid from a broken home before? <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. It's OK, mate. I guess I had that coming to you. <laughs> The news. 
news. I'm afraid it's still not great. You can run, but you can't hide, Craig Donovan. <laughs> Craig. Well, are you going to tell him, Doctor, or will I? Bad luck, Craig Donovan. It's your stall. Apparently, it's on its last legs. <laughs> I came as soon as I heard. Bastards. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> Who would do a thing like that? Who would do a thing like that? I don't know. But I'm going to make them pay for it. No one steals Craig's stool and gets away with it. <laughs> <laughs> on Dumb Street. Craig, I've got the test results back. I'm afraid it's worse than we first thought. I'm going to have to examine your stool. <laughs> well, are you going to tell him, Doctor, or will I? Bad luck, Craig Donovan. It's your stool. Apparently it's on its last legs. <laughs> no one steals Craig's stool and gets away with it. <laughs> Check 20. <laughs> Where can Craig still be? <laughs> Craig's right. It's down the old mine shaft. A quarter mile down the river, past old Jack Dugan's place. Let's go! <laughs> I love you, mate. Ew. this <laughs> so it is a brain tumor <laughs> as long as I live Craig Donovan you'll never see your stool again <laughs> nobody will ever find you here in this deserted mine shaft and now with your stall, I'll have lots of friends. about that deserted old mine shaft. I thought we were really goners until Nikki found Bob Hatfield's portable phone in her back pocket. Yeah, and that Daddy knew his phone number, and that he happened to be home, and that there happened to be that earth-moving machinery there, and that he happened to know how to use it. Yeah. yeah. Lucky, Lucky all right. <laughs> I can't take this heat anymore! <laughs> Thanks, 
mate. I needed that. <laughs> oh, there you are. Jeez, it's hot outside. Everyone, Craig's missing. <laughs> is bad for your ears. <laughs> Gee, that old brain tumour's cleared up good and fast, Danny. <laughs> your own business, Bob. Have filled her all tell everyone who stole the cookies from Cookie's cookie jar. <laughs> Leave him alone. Just keep your nose out of joint. <laughs> yep, it's bloody hot, all right. This place is a real tinderbox. Just one spark and it'd go up like a lead balloon. All it had taken, one cigarette butt thrown out of that window. <laughs> Shut up, everyone. I can hear smoke. <laughs> oh, my God, Jan. Oh, Jan. Got to find Craig. Got to find Craig. Quick, quick, everyone. The cafe's on fire. Yep, it's going to be a bloody hot summer, all right. No, Nikki's right. The cafe is on fire. It's jammed. It's jammed. <laughs> oh, my God, she's got my brain tumour. <laughs> we, we all have. have. <laughs> lucky about the fire but what about bobby did she escape oh, oh my god she's dead at the doorknob oh there's no salt and vinegar and we're out of cheese flavor again <laughs> she's taking it really hard poor kid i better go over and talk to her Cheer up, mate. Every cloud has its ups and downs. One day you'll be dead and this'll all seem a lifetime away. I just can't stand the rain. Sorry, mate. I just had to do that for my own good. Thanks, mate. Look, you have to understand, Bobby, that rain saved Craig's life. <laughs> so many damn clouds. No wonder it's raining. Here you go, Reverend Bob. One cup of Chino. And Reverend Bob. I'd like to pass on with you. But, Bobby, I'm a priest. I can't have sex with a woman. Oh. Then why don't you have sex with Craig? He's not a woman. Are you, Craig? <laughs> What's the use? I need a good stiff drink of water. Listen, Bobby. It's not worth it, mate. Drinking water is not the answer. Now, give me the water. Give me the water. Come on, Bobby. Pass your water. It's OK, mate. It's OK.
certainly is wet, all right, coming down like a lead balloon. I reckon that all it'd take is one stray glass of water thrown carelessly out that window over there, and that old man river would burst them old banks and this whole town would be swept away. I wish I'd never had your baby, Bob Hatfield. I hate you and everything you stand for. We all do. Shut up, everybody. I can smell water. <laughs> oh, you all right, mate? Oh, questions, always bloody questions. So big deal if I'm adopted. Oh, the current thing is wrong. We got it for sure. Hang on. Oh. $48.50, please. <laughs> Thanks for nothing, bitch. You'd sell the back off your own mother's dress. <laughs> dress back. I've got hundreds already. No way. A sale's a sale. Love you, mate. Love you, mate. Love you, mate. Love you, mate. We, we all do. To me. <laughs> you think you're so smart. Well, I'll tell you something for nothing. You're never gonna walk again. <laughs> They're her legs. Let them do what they want. <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> to do that. <laughs> Ten past three. <laughs>
polio today. <laughs> Isn't it a brain tuna? <laughs> no! Don't you realise it's serious? <laughs> she had her bikini line wax today. <laughs> I'm just feeling a little bit insensitive. Yeah, and I'm getting married, so I lend in my wheelchair. <laughs> She wouldn't be in that wheelchair now if you hadn't lent it to her. I don't mean to rush you, mate, but the wedding is tonight. Look, Shelley, I've got it under control. Look, bridesmaids, check. Invites, check. Flowers, check. Groom. Oh, no. <laughs> What wheelchair? <laughs> what do you mean, Shelley? <laughs> Look, she's got legs. She knows how to use them. <laughs> You're darn right I do. Can I have my presents, please? <laughs> it's an oven mitt with little ducks on it. I left the price on it. Thanks, Mike. It's a packet of five fruit-shaped fridge magnets. You owe me four dollars. <laughs> OK. It's a spoon rest. <gasps> I recognise that spoon rest. That was old man Dugan's just after he died. <gasps> as I'm having at my hen's party. Ha, 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 yeah. We, we all, all do. do. <laughs> How's your water, Craig? I remember my own wedding. Couldn't control the bladder. Got so excited, I wet my pants. I had to get married without any trousers. A man never forgets a thing like that. Reverend? <laughs> so, what brings you here? <laughs> at least I bought my dress at Katie's. <laughs> <laughs> I really needed that. So, you thought you could have this little shindig without me? <laughs> it's my fault. I put the time on the wedding invitations. You're lying. You're all in this together. She isn't lying. She is in this together. There never were any invitations. You mustn't believe me. <laughs>
Before I join these people together in holy matrimony, is there anyone here who knows of any reason why this marriage should not take place? <laughs> lonely. I needed furniture. <laughs> I thought I could get to the stool through Craig, but I was wrong. I was wrong. Don't worry, Reverend Bob. I've got an old puff at home you can sit on. <laughs> Do you take this Craig Donovan to be your lawful wedded husband? Do you take these girls to be your lawful wedded wives? <laughs> you must be Bobby's long lost identical twin sister. <laughs> we thought that you were. Ha! So where is my long lost twin sister who buys her clothes at Katie's? <laughs> Bobby said that as long as you're around, she'll never be seen in the same room as you. Ever! <laughs> Especially not standing right next to you. <laughs> then she'll never get to meet my husband. Hello, Craig. Hangers, sunbeam shot of steam iron, and Fablion. <laughs> there. What the hell do you think you're doing? We've got to get Craig's stuff ready for the ironing man competition. <laughs> oh, get real, Bobby. There isn't going to be any ironing man competition. Haven't you heard? Craig was caught down at the dry cleaners. Have charges been pressed? No, just his board shorts. <laughs> I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Just get out. Get out. Get out of my house, Danny. Danny DeVito. <laughs> oh. I hear you've got a room for rent. Who asked you? <laughs> I did. I'm the new sex symbol on the block, Alyssa, Alyssa Melissa Jane. Well, listen, Alyssa Melissa Jane, you're just using that room to get to Craig Donovan. Look, listen, Danny, so-called McBoe, I don't know who you are or what you're driving at, but if you'll excuse me, I've got a single to release. We'll have to organise the big sex competition. There's only one way to decide who gets that room. Whoever wins the sing-off gets that room. Good, because if there's one thing I know how to do, it's sing-off. <laughs> We'll have to have the big sing-off competition to decide who gets this room. And then we'll really know who gets this room. <laughs> the things we do. Oh, my <laughs> God, it's Emma. Emma, God, glob you. Are you all right? Uh, uh, it's nothing. Stop making a fuss, everyone. It's all right. Just leave me alone. 
Come back here and leave me alone! <laughs> Pony bra and plastic skirt, Danny. <laughs> and in the red corner, wearing a pair of Sophie Lee's old clogs and no neck, Melissa, Melissa Jane. Let the sing off begin. <laughs> Round one. <laughs> Baby, oh, 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 oh. what's the matter, Danny? Oh, I can't move my hair. Oh my God, she's broken her neck. Quick, someone call the police. Hello, police. I want to report a broken neck. <laughs> They're on their way. Open the door, please. It must be that new copper on Dumb Street. I've heard he's a real hunk of meat. Why, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Shortcut? Girls, <laughs> I'd like you to meet Constable Bruce Samaritan. Wow, he really is a hunk of meat. <laughs> Sex with him. We yeah. all do. But there's just one snag. <laughs> Listen, Craig, just shut up. I've got to know the truth. Is this baby I'm carrying mine? <laughs> You can move your hair again, just try. <laughs> oh, it's no use, I can't feel it. My hair's lost the will to live. <laughs> Listen, mate, I know your hair had a brush with death and was nearly died, but you just can't give up. <laughs> Quick, Danny, get off the bed. Emma's gonna have her baby. <laughs> and I'm really tired. <laughs> Listen, Emma, God glob, you'll, you'll pay for this. If you're not on medical benefits. <laughs> <laughs>